No! Ah! Wasabi, you guys. I was suggested with a very nasty integral from an integration B by IIT Madras. Yeah, this is from IIT Madras. Yeah, I, I just, I don't know what to say. Wow. This is a, the nastiest way to do an integration B. It's, it's, it's like the, they're treating this like, all right, it's G main time. And it's just like, ba bam. Like it was just thrown at our faces. And it's just like, like you, you, like we have to solve two integrals at once. How many minutes is given? This is a semifinals. I'm assuming, I hope it's five minutes. I genuinely hope it's five minutes. If it's less than five minutes, dear God. Okay. Well, the first thing I would do is I would, I would start simplifying these first, right? What's the simplest way I can reformat this? So we have an integral from zero to one. I have an X. I don't know. It's just, it's weird. The suspicious thing is like, why do I have a negative one half? Like that's very suspicious, right? Notice, notice this. Okay. When you're in a, uh, when you're competing in integration B, Every integral has a purpose, okay? They're not thrown at random unless you, you compete at a community college or uh, high school and they just bring out textbook problems. But like very advanced integration bees like this, like what is, what is the purpose of this? Notice that I have a minus one half, okay? And notice this has e to the, to the power of negative one half. That's very suspicious. So to me, it's like there is something that I don't know either this has e to the negative one half or this b problem has negative one half at the power like this this gives me a suspicion that these two integrals correlate to some to something where we don't fully integrate it we integrate it in a way where a and b or alpha beta they share a same form but have a different coefficient and I'm going to show you that Canadian trick once I if if I find out that it does that but you'll you'll see what I mean but for now I'm trying to just that negative one half was really suspicious but for now I would try to think of a way to kind of simplify this and unfortunately I can't think of a way um, besides well this x and x square here so what I would do is I would do integration by parts. So I would do cosine x. And the reason why I'm doing that is because x e, and then we have x squared minus one half. Like this is integrable. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that. I have sine of x. And if I integrate this, let's see, let u equal x squared minus one over two, right? If you need to, you don't have to do it in your head. If you can't do it in your head so that you don't want to mess up, uh, you can write you can write this as reference. Okay. If I derive it, I get like x dx. Okay. Oh wow, look at that. You see how suspicious that is? So there is so this cleanly just equals to x squared minus a half. Okay, and this is what we have left. Okay. So alpha is equal to this. So cosine of x times e to the x squared minus one half. Okay, so if we plug in one, uh, this becomes zero. Okay, so this becomes e to the zero, one. So we get cosine of one minus, and then zero, if I plug in zero, I get one here, but then now I have negative, I have a negative one half. Oh, that's so nasty. That's so nasty. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it like this. Ah, so you see how, look how suspicious that is. Cosine one minus e to the, and it cancels this out. Do you, do you guys realize how suspicious that is? I'm gonna go from one to zero, and I have sine of x, e to the x squared minus one over two. Okay, and that's it. That's it, I'm gonna stop right here.
Okay, because obviously I cannot integrate any further. So I'm going to be like an AI like, oh, well, I'm sorry. I can't integrate any further because this is not even, there's no closed form for this. Or maybe there is, but there's not an elementary function or something. And there's no way in hell I'm going to integrate that by hand with using numerical values. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like this. Okay, I'm going to call this I for now. Now I'm going to move on. All right, so what the hell is going on here? Okay. Look at this. That's so suspicious. x squared minus 2x. And if I do plus 1 minus 1, and there's a 2 here. And then we have this out of nowhere for cosine 4x minus 4. Why are we having this? Right? Ask yourself, why, why are they formatting it this way? There is something suspicious around here. So, beta. I actually never saw this integral, actually. This is, I'm literally sight reading this right now. Um, so I could I could be wrong. <laughs> that's that's why like I'm very slow. I I probably if this was an actual integration, be I most likely would not be able to solve this in in time because I'm this would stump me. Um, okay, so so this is X, I want to complete the square for that. So I want to go like this. I want to do plus one minus one. So I get X uh, minus one squared. So it's minus one. Like that if I do u let u equal x minus one you see how suspicious that is I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do that so I don't even have to write everything because I already know where this is going x minus one here I get zero three half minus one is one half okay interesting so it's not zero to one it's zero to a half okay huh and I get 2u squared minus, uh, ooh, be very careful, 2u squared minus 2. After that, I get the square root of 1 minus cosine of 4u du. Now, I want you to notice, uh, all right, so you know, again, this, is, this area here is like scratch work. So um, 1 minus cosine for you is equal to like 2, two cosine two square of 2u. Two 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 two. Ooh, now it's now we are really seeing it. Oh yeah, this is definitely that Canadian trick. So this is Okay, that looks exactly like alpha, but alpha has that x, right? I don't have that here. That's that's what's throwing me off. Oh god, this is horrid. This is horrible. This is I I lied. I don't see the Canadian trick to this. I don't think these two do these two integrals are they equivalent? Like that's what's striking me is you have to show are these equivalent, right? Because notice this one has an x and this one does not have an x. That's what that's what kind of struck me a little and um, you can't do integration by parts with this because that's this is not elementary you cannot integrate by parts with that so what do do I just assume they both equal and then just be like okay and this is just equal to 1 over root e times e square over root 2 I swear if this actually is the answer and like this actually these two integrals do equal I'm gonna be so mad I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> so they both can't be equal. No, I refuse to believe these two integrals equal. I'm searching it up right now because there's nowhere there's, there's nowhere else for me to go. <laughs> okay, so it is not a complex number. Oh, but you can't, it's not even a negative. That's what bothers me. It's not even a negative. So you can't use Gaussian on this. Oh my god. What do I even do? You can't use integration by parts. You can't do... What on earth do you do here? Root E. I feel like this was like... I feel like this is where they were going with. But something went wrong. There was this... These two integrals do not equal. This was my guess. 
and it was wrong for obvious reasons because these two integrals don't equal. I'm sorry, I'm not I'm not motivated to do complex analysis because that's just nasty. And that's not even a Galagian integral, and it's not from zero to infinity. So it's like uh, <laughs> <laughs> like come on man like you can't think of anything like nicer like come on i'm just double checking right now this is one minus co oh no no i no ah no <gasps> Oh my god! Ah! No! I just realized something! No! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! Oh my, god. oh my god! This is incorrect! Why did I write this? Oh my god! This is sine square! No! This is sine square! Oh my god! Okay, so now. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is zero one half. <clears throat> this is e to the two u squared minus two of square root of two sine two u du. Oh my god! So now. This is equal, uh, I'm sorry, we let w equal to 2u now, and now we have from 0 to 1, and now we, we go ahead and do w, w times w over 2, minus 2, and then square root of 2 over 2 for that uh, dw. And then sine of u, uh, sine of w. And now this is, this gives us uh, 1 over root 2 e square. Sine of w dw. And so now, um, this is exactly what we have here. So I over beta is equal to um, 1 over, this is 1 over e, 1 over root e, 1 over root e, and then this is what, 1 over root 2 e square. So my answer is root 2 e square over root e. Was I, wait, was my guess correct then? Is that what I had before? Oh my god! So it is like the Canadian trick then. Ah! See, I knew it. This this was the Canadian, this is the Canadian trick. Oh my god. Oh. Ah! Okay. Well, there you go. That's my answer. So, again, so do not fuck up like me, okay? Be extremely careful. And then, you know, for, use the Canadian trick where you format it to the same integral, but you have coefficients differently. And so you solve, uh, you know, you format the same integral, cancel them out because, you know, they want you to divide them. And then you get the leftover coefficients. So my answer is the square root of 2 over e times e square. Okay? So there you go. Yeah! I solved it. See, I knew it was the Canadian trick. Now, let me show you 
just an overview of what the Canadian trick was.